recall when we were young Running from all things at once Without thinking twice And I knew we would catch up And that we would be the ones Left Hey guys, welcome back, or welcome if you're new, to Cora's Cozy Castle. As you can see in this before clip, in today's video, I will be deep cleaning, organizing, and decluttering my kitchen. I will also be sharing one of my favorite dinner recipes and some beautiful new swish soup bowls. So stay tuned for a ton of cleaning motivation and also a delicious, healthy Weight Watchers meal. This boy on my mind that I can't live without all his eyes I can't be And he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time All the time And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs So I can't get enough Think about him all the time I can get him off my mind Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall In today's video, I'm focusing mainly on cleaning the lower cabinets and getting those all nice and shiny. As you could see in my before shot, I think some milk had, you know, spilled and got on the cabinets and it just makes a big difference on how it actually looks when you come into the space. And I'm happy with the way that it turned out. I am using the Odeban cleaner with really hot water. This is one of my favorite like all-purpose type cleaners. And I buy it usually at Home Depot. You can purchase it on Amazon. I just like their standard scent, but it comes in multiple different scents that you could try. I highly recommend this. I mop my floors with it sometimes. It's just a really good cleaner and it really does eliminate odors. So if you guys want to check that out, I will leave it linked down below. Now I want to share with you guys this taco soup recipe. It is Weight Watcher friendly. It is amazing. It is absolutely delicious. I will leave all of the ingredients linked down below or you can take a screenshot of the ingredients as I showed them. But it's super easy. It's a slow cooker soup. You just take the ground. I use the ground turkey and just cook it down and then you will add everything into your crock pot and you cook on I usually do high heat for about four to six hours and just check on it regularly, but you could do it like low heat and do it for longer, eight hours or something like that. But I will leave the recipe and how I cook it linked down below. It is amazing and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. Now that I have all of my ingredients, I'm just stirring everything together before I turn the crock pot on. And like I said, I'll leave the cooking instructions down below. You can do it high or low, just depending on how quickly you want the soup done. It's amazing, guys. It is one of my family favorites. Everybody loves this soup. So that's always a win in my book when everybody likes it. But I wanna share these beautiful soup dishes that were sent to me by a company called Swish. And I honestly am very impressed with them. They are a very high quality and I love how they have a farmhouse minimal look to them. You can get them in other colors. They hold a really nice serving of soup and my boys love the sturdy handles. 
I will definitely be linking these down below in the description box if you guys are interested. You can see here how nicely packaged they come and they honestly are just awesome. So they will be linked down in the description, but thank you to Swish for sending those to me. Now I'm gonna jump right back into the deep cleaning and here I'm just gonna remove all of the things off of my stovetop so that I can give it a really nice deep scrub. My appliances are original to the home so there are things on here that don't come off but every now and again I like to just give it a really nice deep clean. I'm using the Mrs. Meyers Baking Soda Cream Cleanser. This is one of my favorite cleaners to use around my home. It does such a good job with just removing like the built-in dirt and grime. So I like doing this first and then of course I will go back and shine it with the stainless steel wipes. But I like to just kind of get all of the just things that won't lift off with just shining it with um, the Mrs. Myers. I wanted to come on here and introduce myself if you guys are new. My name is Kristen and this is Cora's Cozy Castle named after my five pound dachshund Cora. I am a homemaker, a wife to my high school sweetheart Jeff for almost 18 years next month. And we have three boys together. Britton is 13, Asher's nine, and Jensen is three. We have two fur babies. Bentley is our puppy Collie. He just turned one. And Cora Sue, my little dachshund, just turned five a week ago. On here, I like to do things about cleaning motivation, decluttering motivation big time because I'm definitely on a minimalist journey on here. I've gotten rid of a ton of stuff. I'm still getting rid of things, so those videos are definitely still on the way. I also have a passion for Pottery Barn and decor. So if any of those things inspire you and you guys are interested, please make sure to hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss a video from me. I appreciate every like, every subscriber, every comment. You guys mean so much to me. I feel so blessed to have a channel here and be able to inspire you guys. One of my biggest passions and the reason I started YouTube, and I don't think I share this enough, is that I suffer really bad with OCD and health anxiety. Like, and when I say really bad, I mean really bad. You can ask any of my family members. But I really wanted to come on here because watching YouTube for me really helped me to feel less lonely for the day when I was in really bad place after having my third son with postpartum depression. And I just felt like if I could make my own videos and encourage somebody the way that the ladies had encouraged me that I watched, then I just felt like I was helping and somehow just shining a light into somebody else's maybe dark place. So I just want to share that with you guys. And again, if you're new, I would love for you to join me here. And I appreciate you. And I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. <laughs> Places.
I had a request to talk about how to keep the kitchen like decluttered and things off of the counters. So I wanted to come on here and share with you guys a couple tips and tricks. I do realize this kitchen is quite a large kitchen. I use these tips and tricks though at my old house and I will link that home tour video. It was one of my very first videos down below if you guys want to see the space that I used to live in. It was a lot smaller than this. It only had four drawers and a much smaller pantry, and I still use the same tips and tricks there. So I do believe they can work no matter what size space that you have. The first tip that I want to share with you guys is on this counter, you can see that I have everything that I keep out on a regular basis stays all together. So I like to cluster the items together, and I feel like even if your space is smaller when you put things together visually it just seems to not look as cluttered because everything's kind of just together so this has been something that i've done ever since i lived at my old house as well and i just visually now i'm very ocd but visually to me it just looks a little bit less cluttered when you do have to keep because i realize you do have to keep certain items out that you use on a regular basis daily sometimes multiple times a day so i think that was something that really helped me the second thing is that I don't have any duplicates of anything, and I did start this at the old house. I've gotten a little more strict about it in this house, but I don't have like multiple tongs, multiple cooking spoons, spatulas. I just have one of each, and if I have to reuse it, I just wash it as I go, and that has helped so much on not having to store those items, which has freed up storage to put any other items that I may have to store. So that was a big one for me. Dishes as well. We are a family of five. I have six dishes like plates, bowls, spoons, forks. And if I have company come over or you know need extra things, I buy paper goods and products like that. The third item is that I buy combo items. So you guys saw my Ninja Foodie. I try not to buy a bunch of different kitchen like smaller appliances. So I really like Instant Pots. I really like air fryers, but I didn't want to buy like three different things because I do have a crock pot and I realize people have those items. But for me, when I buy items that are combo items, like the Ninja Foodie is an air fryer and an Instant Pot. So I only have to store one item. The other thing when it comes to smaller kitchen, things like that, crock pots, air fryers, things of that, nature is that I think the other thing that I did at the old house that I don't really have to do in this house but I do think it's good if you have a smaller space is you don't have to store those items in the kitchen I used to store my crock pot at the old house I stored it in the laundry closet that I had so I think that if you have other spaces in your home that maybe you don't have as much items if you can store some of those kitchen appliances and things it will free up that space in your kitchen for more regularly used items. So I think that was a really good thing that I did at my old house that may be something you could use if you do have a smaller space or maybe you don't have a pantry. Maybe you could store your spices somewhere different and just kind of pull those out as you need them. And then the fourth thing is that if you guys notice earlier in the video, I really don't decorate my kitchen. I have one little area above the stove that I have a couple cutting boards and a wreath, and I have one wreath on the pantry door. Other than that, I just don't put any decor in my kitchen. I absolutely think it's gorgeous when people do, and I can really appreciate a really nicely decorated kitchen. Some people put things on like they have a flat island. I don't really have that here in this space. I have more of a bar that comes up where my sink is. So I don't really have a space for it really much anyway, but I, when I'm cleaning, I just want to just wipe everything down. I don't like moving things. And I do think that sometimes if you get too much, it can add to, if you have a smaller kitchen, it can add to the clutter. So I hope that these are a couple things that if you found you can use, or if you have any other tips and tricks of how to keep things looking decluttered in smaller spaces, please leave those down in the comments below. You could help encourage um, somebody else as well, but I organized all of these drawers right here and I'm super, super happy I did. I got rid of a ton of stuff. It felt so good. So I'm just minimalizing my kitchen that much more. So I hope you guys are enjoying today's video. If you are, make sure to be giving me a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it.
coming back You know that You know that You're the traveling kind It's a known fact Yeah, I know that This is about it for today's video, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you're new, again, make sure to like, hit the notification bell, and subscribe so you don't miss a video from me. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope that you are having a wonderful day and that you're well. Leave me a comment down below. I love talking to you guys, and I love getting to know my new subscribers. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Much love always. Bye. It's just the